This is Ray. Ray's my friend. Say hello. Hi. Check out Ray's garden. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm George and I'm at my friend Ray's house in Norwich, beautiful home, and he's got three beautiful aquascapes that I want to show you. Uh, it's actually the first time I've visited Ray and I was completely bowled over by the high quality of these little aquascapes and I just wanted to show you guys just what can be achieved in a small space on a relatively low budget and two of them uh, are very low tech as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Please do watch the video all the way through if you can, uh, pay attention and let me know in the comments which is your favorite and really importantly, why it's your favorite. So beautiful home, built in the 19th century. This is Dara's room. room, Ray and Jill's three year old or four year old? Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half year old son. And what a lucky boy he is to have such a beautiful scape in his room. Aquascape by his dad. So, uh, this is an Aquiel. Do you know the model name? Leddy. Leddy? Leddy. L-E-D-D-Y. Leddy 60. Is that 60 litres? Uh, it's actually 55. Oh, guess it's 60 centimetres long, maybe. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's absolutely amazing. No CO2 injection. Seven or eight watts of LED light. So, very low lighting. Plain gravel and Ray only uses the Aquascaper Complete Liquid Plant Food That's right. and a little bit of um, glutahaldehyde liquid carbon fertilizer. Just look at the health of these plants, guys. Absolutely no trace of algae. I'm guessing those shrimp are breeding. Uh, you've just got a couple, what, a trio of cardinals in there? Six cardinals in Okay, oh yeah, I can see four there. And you've got a nice little guppy. Is that Dara's favourite? Yeah, yeah. it's his gummy. Isn't it? Gummy, that's <laughs> cute. But guys, just look at this Anubius. It's the best, some of the best Anubius I've ever seen. It's so algae free. And I think it's just an example, a really, really good example of what can be achieved. You know, you don't need CO2 injection. You don't need expensive substrates. You don't need a high-end filter or high-end lighting to achieve something really quite beautiful. Plant-wise, we've got some Cryptocoryne, looks like Wendetii brown maybe in the right there. Uh, we've got uh, Wendetii tropica, and then in the foreground we've got the Cryptocoryne parva. Behind that we've got Cryptocoryne willisii, some Bulbitis, which I'm amazed that it's growing so well with, with relatively low light, no CO2. Some Bucophalandra red, I'm guessing from Tropica, and Anubius petite. All Tropica plants? Oh, Tropica. So, really impressive little scape. Dara's a very lucky young man to have this in his room. Who needs SpongeBob SquarePants when you've got real live plants and a beautiful aquascape to look at? So, that's tank number one, guys. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. I was absolutely gobsmacked when I saw it and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let's go over to tank number two. So this is again a non co 2 tank, is that right Ray? Yeah, that's right. A little uh, so like a, a cube, I'm guessing it holds what, 40, 50 litres? Yeah. 40, 50 litres, we've got a little, we've got a male fighter in there. What, what kind of variety is that, do you know? Elephant ears. Elephant ears. Dumbo. Dumbo, there we go. Very active. Awesome little fish. We've got some platies in there. No platy babies, or we just got the males? No, they're actually, uh, they were born here, those three. Oh, wow. And they haven't produced any more since, or else the fry have been eaten. Oh, uh, okay, maybe the fighter's eating them, keeping them in check. So this is an Ascol cube, um, 40 litres. It's got a built-in filter at the back, is that right? Yep. And what sort of lighting? Again, it's seven watts in there. Seven watts. So guys, you know, this puts my non-CO2 budget escape to shame. In fact, I might not even publish this because it's a bit... <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so we've got some Amazon swords in the back, which is great because people just assume Amazon swords need high levels of light, which they don't. You've got a soil substrate in there? Yeah, Tropica. Tropica plant substrate, uh, plant soil. 
Um, is it the powder or the regular? It's like the powder. It was a mixture, actually. Okay. Is that Sagittaria or Helianthium? Helianth Sagittaria. Sagittaria in the foreground carpet. We've got some more crypts in the midground. Good old Java fern. Those that know my channel know I love a Java fern. Uh, some bu some Buca Philandra there just beneath the Java fern. And I've got to say, another, another great scape. Really impressive. And again, just using the Aquascaper plant fertilizer. How much are you dosing a day? No, it's only maybe two, three millimeters. Wow. Beautiful. Really love this. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments what's your favorite. Remember to keep an eye on all the scapes, have a little think, and let me know why each one is. It. Whichever you choose, let me know why it's your favourite. Or was there a little snail in there? A little nearite oh, snail? There are, there are a few, uh, few horned nearites in there. Do you find them good for controlling the algae? Yeah, but I can't have shrimp in there because be, he, the uh, fighter likes to eat them. Basically. Have you got a name for the fighter? Uh, nope, nope. He's just a big fella. Big fella. He's beautiful. He's so active. I don't he, think oh yeah, really. A lot of, every time I've kept fighters, they've been relatively sedentary. He's always dancing. Yeah, beautiful, a bit of a show off. Okay, moving on to the third and final tank. This is a higher energy setup with CO2 injection. This is in the guest bedroom. Twin star light, what's this? The twin star 450E. And this is a Danale nano cube. Uh, is this the 50 litre? 50 or 55. 55 probably, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, got the good old Aqua Rio. CO2 diffuser there in the left. Uh, all the filters are internal. So another kind of good example, guys, that you don't need relatively expensive external filtration to achieve success with your aquascapes. I've got a little bit of reflection in the background that we just come from a different angle. And the good thing about, well, a lot of people love the Danale Nano Cubes because they have these curved edges. Which I kind of I kind of like it, but I'm a bit more of a traditional fan. I like the classic kind of square edge. So plant-wise, we have a carpet of Marsalea hisuta. Real nice, low energy, easy carpeting plant, which is growing super dense, super healthy. And then it looks like Bacopa compact there in the center of the screen right now. Got some trident fern now in the center and then to the right and to the left we have rotala hra i'm guessing all from tropica oh there's a little bit of hair grass as well in the back left and just in the foreground just there again breeding shrimps and check out these fish beautiful are these boras maculatus Oh, Briget, uh, Boras Brigetti, Brigetti, Brigetti. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but stunning little scope. Absolutely love it. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Ray is, I've got to say, is a talented scoper. Real, real nice surprise to see these scapes, Ray. I, I, I knew Ray had one scape, but I didn't realise how good it was, let alone three. So, really, really nice surprise. And what a lovely kind of thing to look at when you're just going to bed. Silent as well, isn't it? You can't hear the filter. Really nice. Okay, just give you a quick refresher. Choose your favourite, guys, and let me know why it's your favourite. So, number one, which is the Leddy, L-E-D-D-Y, Scape, Crips, Bobitis, Anubius, Bucophalandra. Number two, which we'll call the cube tank. And then number three, we'll call the CA2 tank. Let me know which is your favorite guys and let me know why. Which would you like to have in your home? 
Okay guys, that's it for the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, which is your favorite scape and why. Thanks so much for Ray for inviting me into his beautiful home and letting me film his beautiful scapes. You're gonna see a lot more from Ray. I can't tell too much because it's gonna be an epic surprise, but you will, trust me, uh, see a lot more of Ray in the future. Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off now. You take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio. Yeah.